Today in the crypto space, we see a nice green bounce in the market, Bitcoin above that $38,000 level, and Ethereum above that $2,000 mark. Both heavyweights are up approximately 3.5%, while the altcoins are looking for higher levels as well. Look of Solana, nice deep in the green, Rune, and many, many more. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I want to talk about one altcoin, one project that many of us are talking about, and that project is called Solana. So you know what? Let's talk about the news. Let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and let's get right into it guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome on the channel. We talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities. Whether we go up or down, bearish or bullish, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility. And if you appreciate the strategy, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my future future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on those socials the links are in the description and of course guys join the discord the discord is a great community lots of good alpha trade up setups fundamentals and learning material all right, guys, let's begin looking at uh, this market. Um, we can see in general, Bitcoin right now is definitely leading the way again. Bitcoin is moving to the upside while, you know, the rest of the altcoins are definitely moving up as well, looking pretty good. We got, you know, a few percents to the upside. Solana right now is one of the main major gainers in the top 10 looking pretty good up approximately seven percent and of course solana is the the project for today's video and i want to focus on solana from a fundamental perspective as well not only fundamentals but of course price action and my expectations but at the end of the day why is solana looking so bullish right now and i believe that the overall market sentiment with regards to solana is really really powerful at the current moment the narrative behind um you know the ethereum killer is coming right back in into mainstream and it's a conversation that many of us are talking about and of course i'm going to give you my two cents in a second but let's continue looking at what this market is giving us in the in the last little while so as we go through the market we can see that cardano is also getting a little bit of a bounce we have a lot of the other larger cap altcoins doing pretty good chain link pretty um you know getting a nice bounce as well and still within range guys still within range now the question is do we continue making those higher highs do we get you know start building a big picture structure based on the daily it is very possible that based on bitcoin's lead we start to see uh altcoins um you know continue rallying up but eventually starting to look for levels of resistance where we also see altcoins potentially come down based on bitcoin you know bearishness in bitcoin any negativity in Bitcoin will definitely drag the entire crypto space down. And of course, you know, here on the channel, we don't mind bearish or bullish up or down. It doesn't matter. And at the end of the day, what I am doing right now is getting into a defensive mode. Very, very defensive. If we start rolling over, I want to ensure that I've taken profit. I want to ensure that I have stop losses set, ready to go to secure some of my gains, ensuring that I stop myself out in some significant gains. Because we know that we've been, especially here on this channel, we've been getting into in at very very low low prices we've been buying dips at low levels so our portfolios should be deep deep in the green and we want to protect those those gains we want to protect our portfolios and the only way to do that is about thinking about risk and risk management and not having stop losses not taking profits just gives you a lot of exposure to the potential volatility that we could be experiencing in the next couple of days so let's continue down this market and see what's going on here what else do we have you know, some altcoins definitely getting a bit of relief to the upsides. Caspa is up 8%, but structurally, it's still within range. Nothing crazy just yet. Again, a lot of us are questioning, are we going to make another high on a lot of these altcoins? Or again, are we getting to stay within the consolidation and maybe make a bearish pattern? Thorchain Rune right now, one of the major gainers today, up 16%. What a beast, making a higher high. The trend is your friend, definitely here. Would I be getting into fresh longs? Absolutely not. At this point, it's about getting defensive with the gains that you already have and potentially getting into uh, fresh longs at, with um, altcoins or projects that have great risk to reward opportunities. 
Um, Stacks looking pretty good based on the Bitcoin narrative. Of course, Stacks usually is, you know, paired up or coupled or tethered to Bitcoin. When you see Bitcoin run up, Stacks usually does well. So that explains the 10% move to the upside. And we have Tia looking pretty good, making another higher high, up 13%, 14% today. Pretty good, pretty good move to the upside overall. And we have Terra Luna waking up. What's going on with Luna C? Up 20%, 62% in the last uh, couple of days. Pretty, pretty good stuff for Luna C. Fundamentally, do we expect Luna C to continue moving to the upside? Guys, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section lo below. What is your thesis on Luna C? Do you think that we're going to continue going or are we coming down for another tumble? Let's continue going down. Overall, the consensus in the market is we're getting some relief. We're getting a nice, um, yeah, nice little relief to the upside, which is looking pretty good for our performance portfolios and i'm anticipating that we should be able to resolve some of this price action in the immediate short term all right guys i know you're here to talk about price action let's take a look at bitcoin of course bitcoin as a leading indicator we see that bitcoin is still within range guys yesterday i did let you know that we shouldn't be worried given the fact that structure is still there and look what look what happens bitcoin gets a nice bounce a lot of people are now coming out with those uh live streams emergency live streams that bitcoin might be breaking out yeah it may be breaking out but it's definitely not an emergency the emergency will come around if we start breaking about forty thousand. for me that's sounds it's, it starts to look like a level where a lot of people might be entering shorts taking profits and we should get some real volatility there that could cause you know some individuals to get wrecked or even still get a short squeeze to the the upside so 40k is where i'm interested in seeing bitcoin get and then i'm going to get excited but as long as we are within this range kind of hanging around here i'm not celebrating just yet you know it is a, an ascending channel ascending channels wedges whatever you want to call it because it could be a slightly expanding no doubt it is a bearish pattern over time eventually this thing should roll over and we do see the bearish divergence is still very intact no invalidation just yet and i mentioned earlier on that it's very likely that we see an impulsive move to the upside when we see the momentum you know get a bit of a, a bounce up let's see if we get rejected make another lower high and then continuation to the downside upon this move of momentum back up testing this range right here or this diagonal resistance we could see altcoins again get another move to the upside where we see an altcoin season or another impulsive move for that matter both on bitcoin and especially those altcoins so one more hurrah might be in, a, in the works one more impulse and then we have to get really really defensive once again okay so trailing up a stop loss taking 10 percent off the top you get the drill okay so this is where we are with bitcoin nothing too crazy here again patience 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 anticipation of break of structure you know a change of structure is actually more important here but so far trending to the upside higher highs higher lows and of course if we start breaking this pattern that's where we're going to get concerned you know our higher high is not really in there just yet okay we could be still getting a slightly higher high here of course if we close this candle but you know that the rsi doesn't factor in candles wicks on the candles so we gotta just focus on bodies let's see how this daily candle closes by the end of the day if it's going to be nice and bullish or if it's going to come back down slightly to kind of close below the thirty-seven thousand eight hundred dollar mark okay so that's my take here on bitcoin guys by the way i apologize for the voice but i do want to be here making videos for you guys on a daily basis so um if you appreciate it do the channel a massive favor and slap the like button all right guys let's take a look at solana solana is definitely within a consolidation very very clear consolidation the consolidation right now is very very clear in the sense that you know it is a nice ascending uh sorry a symmetrical type of consolidation to appreciate the consolidation, we got to get into lower time frames. But before we do that, let's just, you know, look at momentum. You can see that momentum via price action here on the daily. Even the daily structure is not that big. It could be, you know, up just a bit bigger. Maybe we get an impulse up. Maybe we come back down. Maybe we consolidate. Maybe we roll over. We'll talk about those scenarios in a second. But let's look at momentum. The MACD is looking bearish. EMA is facing down. No sign of a bullish cross just yet. And the daily is trekking to the downside on the RSI. Maybe a little 
impulse to the upside where we test the, the highs and maybe get a slightly higher high and then maybe we get the follow through after that and start to get you know some more bearishness but again you got to take it easy here guys you got to give it time to actually unfold if you get on the lower time frames things look a little different in the sense that we've already came down to oversold conditions and it's likely that we're coming at back up for an impulsive move which again could justify the daily getting the rsi back up back testing the breakdown and also getting the four hour over a bot again slightly lower high let me show you what i mean here actually i could have reused that but it's okay you can see lower lower highs lower highs maybe we come back up get slightly oversold uh, sorry overbought and then finally come back down again which will give solana the opportunity to reach uh previous highs and maybe even get into a, a higher high maybe hitting about 76 77 dollars guys that would be absolutely epic to see solana do that but let's step it back a second because a lot of people are right now talking about solana being again the ethereum killer now i'm not saying it can't i'm not saying that solana can't exceed ethereum um in in, in use case and technology wise the reality is solana is is superior you know they're faster um gas fees are clearly clearly much cheaper and one thing that was is or was holding solana back was clearly the ftx scenario and solana as a uh, network did get punished severely through that association and since then we've seen the ecosystem definitely suffer because of it a lot of developers left transactions you know were not very high solana was considered dead right it was considered dead now all of a sudden because of the utility the the actual uh technology solana still has value and that's something that i was talking to you about uh, especially very clearly on the channel at about eight to twelve dollars that's where i was accumulating and letting you know guys this is an important time because a make it or break it moment for solana now if we look now at where solana is at almost sixty dollars solana did a great it did very very great price wise but it, the question still remains is it better than ethereum ethereum has a couple things going for it obviously it has the first mover advantage right it, it was first smart contract platform to go mainstream obviously it's the largest ecosystem and based on the network effect we can say that ethereum um, has value through its network right and it's well established well trusted and so on and so forth so it's very hard for a smaller cap project to go and compete with that status not to say it can't happen it's very difficult now solana's ecosystem you know did get you know hit back significantly but in the last little while we're seeing that solana is making a bit of a comeback which is very very healthy for solana because ultimately its ecosystem is going to give it use case and utility and ultimately, as a byproduct, the network effect, which will basically compete with Ethereum, which is very important if it's going to flip Ethereum. So in this case, it's all about risk. And, you know, I talk about risk significantly. Ethereum is less risky in the fact that it's well established. And it's both from a branding perspective and from a technology, technological perspective, of course, you know, it's well established. However, those gas fees there's opportunities there you know if you do a swat a swat analysis strength weaknesses opportunities and threats both parties will have something to fill in right and of course solana has its benefits and so does ethereum and vice versa but in this case do i expect solana to flip ethereum it's going to be a tough one it's going to be a tough one so why put your egg all your eggs in the solana basket and expect that to happen and in fact, why put all your eggs in the Ethereum basket and expect that to happen? There's one argument that we cannot deny, regardless of what you think about better tech or not better tech. Number one, Solana's history is not the greatest in the sense that it had a significant amount of downtime, especially during congested moments. Now, technologically, are those issues resolved? Are we going to have downtime? You know, it happened many times during the previous bull run. And since then, we've been in a bear market. And really, the congestion is not there. Testing Solana at its peak. Is that going to be an issue when we do get to our peak? Or bull run moment where there's a lot of congestion? That's the, one of the issues that I have putting a lot of eggs in the Solana basket. 
But in addition, one thing that you also have to understand is that if you're looking from a risk to reward scenario, Solana's reward is a lot more than Ethereum's reward given the risk. Why? Because Solana already is at the bottom, bottom of the range in the sense it got a beat down significantly. Now, if the market corrects itself, Solana very healthily can come right back down to about $30. As you can see, you know, this was the breakout point where the majority in the market may, you know, come get tested. Liquidity at these levels could come get tested. So again, if Bitcoin does roll over and we get a bit of a retracement, a bit of, you know, negativity in the market, Solana will also come down for a bit of a dip. We can come down to about $30. In that case, we could scale in with a bit of confidence, confirmation low, a higher low. These are all very healthy things for entries. But if you zoom out and you start to look at where Solana came from, the reality is, is that the reward is much more. The reward is significant. And as a lower cap altcoin, we know that, that lower cap projects have more volatility and have a lot more upside potential. So what does that mean? That means that your reward is much higher and that taking a risk here might be very rewarding. Whereas with Ethereum, you know, even if it gets to 10K, the reality is it's only going to do a 5X. And that, for me, from a reward perspective, is not enough. So, yes, you know, thinking about Ethereum, you know, having competition is very healthy because there's tons of it. Even looking at some of the new blockchains coming out that are effectively cheaper and faster as well, never mind Solana, those guys don't even have a glimpse of an ecosystem and some of them don't even have smart contracts yet. So this is something that we need to understand is that Solana is in the in the right position to start growing its ecosystem further because it did get a setback whereas Ethereum already has that first mover advantage with a massive ecosystem already. So these are the concerns. Now, what do we do here? My opinion, obviously, not financial advice, is it's about exposure. If we dip or even, you know, if you feel like Solana is the better play because of the reward capabilities, DCA, scale in slowly, having a bit of exposure to Ethereum and even Bitcoin for that matter, gives you that stability just in case, you know, the market does retrace, but at the same time keeps your skin in the game within the crypto space to appreciate, you know, green price action when the market moves because Ethereum, Bitcoin will still move despite what happens. They will still move alongside the rest of the altcoins as well, but not as quick as Solana. So something to really understand here, it's about exposure, it's about risk, and it's about managing your risk during volatility. And right now, obviously we haven't been getting much volatility. We've been getting straight price action up to the right forever but eventually that party is going to end and you're going to wish to have that exposure into bitcoin ethereum because they're going to hold your account stable much more stable than solana or any other project now solana fundamentally or even hype wise right now is really really hot so it could hold up pretty fairly well based on the hype something to consider so where am i looking at price action we this volume gap top of the volume gap is at about 76 77 cents we're we are currently filling up this volume gap you can see it right here this supply and demand at this current moment is going to act as future support future resistance okay so we got to make a little bit of changes here on some of this ta to reflect this consolidation because it's been a while right here is the weak spot above and then we got a bit of a weak spot it's a tiny one but we might as well because it is so close to it we should address it it could definitely fall right through, right back down, and eventually even come a bit lower than this volume gap right here because it is a little bit thicker than it was before. Or, um, yeah, the measurement is definitely nice and, you know, very clear here based on the volume profile. Look at that empty spot, empty spot. We can go even a bit higher here on the top, just a bit, like right about here. This is where we could get a bit of resistance and it's very confident with the previous price action looking left you can see that at about 79 80 dollars so what happens here we're going to consolidate do we roll over and come back back down again based on potentially bitcoin's lead or do we continue to the upside and consider this a bull flag if you're looking for fresh entries understand that the daily momentum is beginning its descent we can get another impulsive move up even make another higher high for sure because we can continue making these class a bearish divergences without follow through to the downside and definitely hit that 70 80 79 80 mark however that class a bearish divergence 
could be still intact and eventually start to see this thing roll over and come down to back to about 30 30 dollars which is absolutely healthy and still very bullish and giving you an opportunity to catch some more of those bullish bids so that we can prepare for the upside right now ultimately we don't know what's going to happen, but statistically speaking, this is where we're getting current resistance. Um, let's see what happens. If we impulse up, I would be very, very, um, you know, adamant about trailing up stop losses. But if you're getting to a fresh entry right now and you're looking for a fresh long, I would be doing it on the four hour. We see a very clear consolidation here. The level to put a stop loss is right under these lows and get your position filled all the way within this range. If we break bullish, great. If we break bearish, guess what happens? You have a fat stop loss right here, ready to act as a safety net just in case it rolls over and it comes down for that dip to about $30. That's what I would be doing here. And obviously get in and get out based on the four hour because we don't know exactly where this overall opportunity is going to end because we've been very, very hot for a long while and it's time for a corrective move, right? So let's talk about a setup here. If we get in right around the zone, we put a stop loss right around these bottoms and we expect profit taking opportunity to be at about 79 80 dollars risk to reward ratio is 3.25 to 1 healthy 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 not bad of a scenario and ultimately taking profits quick will definitely secure your gains because we don't know if we're going to roll over any moment now all right guys that's all i got for you today thank you for stopping by if you haven't yet do the channel a massive favor and slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on those socials the links are in the description below feel free to join that discord guys the discord is a great community lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material take care guys see you tonight 7 30 eastern have a good one and don't forget by the dip